السلام عليكم ورحمة الله I am a talk about the second part of the gametogenesis the spermatogenesis At the end of the lectures you should know about describe the spermatogenesis and the spermiogenesis abnormalities of the female and the male gametes. The spermatogenesis occurs uh, in the postnatal only. The germ uh, cells occurs at the end of the third weeks of development in the dorsal wall of the liac sac. Near the positions of the attachment of the connecting stalk, connecting stalk later forming the umbilical cord. Then the germ cells migrate by the amoeboid movement toward development the gonad of the embryo reach them in the fifth week. You can see in the dorsal the hangout migrate by the amoeboid movement and forming the gonad of the embryo ان شاء الله انطيكم اياها بالكورس الثاني بشكل تفصيل اكثر During childhood, the primordial germ cells are localized in the six cords of the developed testes together within the supporting cells. Supporting cells, this is the sertoli cells. You can see this is the primordial germ cells migrate by the amoeboid movement and localized in the a primitive six cord within the supporting cells. Shortly before prepared the six cord canalize forming the seminophros tubules and the supporting cells differentiated into the sertoli uh, sustentacular cells that support and protect the germ cells then وظيفه السرتولي هنا انا راح تكون هي support and protect the germ cells and help in their nutrition The spermatogenesis beginning shortly before uh, puberty and under the influence of the anterior pituitary gland, the anterior pituitary gland, uh, gland uh, produce uh, the follicle stimulating hormone, the FSH, and the luteinized hormone, the LH, the gonadotropin, and continuous throughout life. At the end, the spermatogenesis, the sperm released during a process called spermations into the lumen of the seminophros tubules. Now, the primordial germ cells differentiated into the spermatogony. And then primordial germ cells, rahtatina spermatogony, spermatogony, two types, type A and type P. A type A that divided continuously by mitosis forming more spermatogonia cells reserve. While a type 2 that differentiated into a primary spermatocytes. من الصير عندنا primary spermatocytes that enter meiosis 1. من دخلت بالmeiosis 1 راح تكون resulting in the Formations of the two secondary spermatocytes. And then, primordial germ cells, Rahtatina spermatogonia, spermatogonia two type. Type A, li huwa ikun fakat wadif tashinua, Rahikun divided continuously by mitosis forming more, uh, more spermatogonia. 
while type 2 that differentiated into a primary spermatocytes a primary spermatocytes that will enter meiosis 1 resulting in the formations of the two secondary spermatocytes a secondary spermatocytes that containing a haploid 23 double structures chromosomes thus normal dna amount now the secondary spermatocytes will undergo meiosis 2 forming the spermatid while in spermatid these cells have a haploid 23 single structures chromosomes and those will have dna amount a secondary El haploid 23 double structures and those in normal DNA amount while the spermatid have a haploid 23 single structures chromosomes those will have DNA amount now a secondary will undergo a meiosis 2 forming to the spermatid the spermatid will undergo a series of the spermato spermiogenesis changes to forming the sperm. And then he said, "We will tell spermiogenesis means that you give us stages of stages of spermatid until we create the sperm." Now the spermiogenesis. During the spermiogenesis, the morphology of the spermatid radically changes. And then the changes the spermatid. The cells develop the acrosomes. You can see the acrosomes, the acrosomes which cover the nucleus of the sperm head. And containing to the proteolytic enzymes, so the proteolytic enzymes that they are penetrating the zona pellucida during the fertilizations. Zona pellucida, you can see it. The current bill, the muhadara sabqa, the ginnah adatan the ovulations of the secondary oocytes, will be within the zona pellucida and the corona radiata. And then on the other side, the zona pellucida, you can see the acrosome, it can contain to the proteolytic enzymes, it will be penetrating the zona pellucida and during the fertilizations. The cell becomes enlarged, forming a neck, a neck which is connecting the head to the middle piece and the tail. Now, the spermiogenesis consists of the four phases. The first, the Golgi phase. The secretory granules accumulate in the Golgi complex of the spermatid as an uh, acrosomal vesicle. You can see this is the acrosomal granules accumulate in the Golgi comp uh, complex of the spermatid and forming to the acrosomal uh, vesicle. A second uh, uh, phase is the calf phase. The acrosomal uh, vesicle enlarged to the cover of the interior head of the nucleus. The nuclear contain become condensed. The three the acrosome phase, the spermatid rotated so that the developing tail of the sperm extended into the lumen of the seminophosa tubules. The mitochondria migrate from the cytoplasm to form the middle piece of the tail of the sperm after the sperm's neck. In maturation phase, the excess cytoplasm is shedded to form a mature spermatozoa. This is the spermatozoa. Now, in this image, you can see the spermatogonia 
conforming to the primary spermatocytes, a diploid number containing to the 46 chromosomes, and enter to the meiosis one, forming a two a secondary a spermatocytes, each cell containing to the 23 a double structures, and a secondary spermatocytes enter to the in meiosis two and forming each cell forming the two spermatid the spermatid containing to the 23 a haploid a single double structures and the spermatid enter to the spermiogenesis and forming to the sperm. أكفد ملاحظة اللي هي شنية هاي الملاحظة يقول the spermatogenesis involves incomplete cytokines عملية تكوين الأمشاج راح تتضمن لنا فت حركة خلوية هاي الحركة الخلوية تكون غير كاملة شلون نريد نشوفها هي غير كاملة in which a chain of differentiated cells derived from one spermatogonium is formed and are connecting by cytoplasmic bridges bridges اللي هي تمثل لي جسور السيتوبلازم احنا عرفنا بالسلايدات اللي قبلها قلنا السبرماتوغونيا راح تكون على نوعين تايب اي وتايب بي تايب اي وظيفته هو راح يصير بيها ديفايدد للسبرماتوغونيا ويزيد لنا من العدد مالتها لكن التايب بي اللي هو وظيفته راح يتحول لنا الى الى البرايمري سبرماتو سايز زين هذه الاعداد اللي هي مستمره من السبرماتوغونيا كلها راح تروح تنخزن بالابيديدمس لا طبعا ايش راح يقول لي يقول لي only mature sperms are separated from the chain leaving residual bodies وهذه البقايا اللي هي راح من الاجسام راح تبقى ما راح تروح اذا السبرم انتر ورا ما فقط الماتشورز والاجسام الاخرى راح تبقى بها the sperms enter the seminiferous tubules and become full motility when Uh, stored in the epididymis اوكي okay? اذا فقط اللي هي تكون ماتشورز وبالتالي راح تكون هي موتاليتي ذات حركه ويتم خزنها بالابيديدمس in this pictures you can see the different type of the uh, sperm primordial germ cells differentiated into the السبرماتوغونيا السبرماتوغونيا تايب 1 وتايب A وتايب B التايب A يكون يعطينا بها divided more the السبرماتوغونيا and التايب B when the differentiated forming to the primary spermatocytes هنا هذه العمليه كليتها راح تكون عن طريق من عن طريق الميتوسيس زين راح نشوف الاعداد يضاعف الاعداد مالتها وتطينا من عنده لكن بال الميتوتيك اللي يكون بيها ديفيجن الفيرست راح نشوف انه تدخل البرايمري سبرماتوسايتس في هذه المرحله ايش راح تطينا راح تطينا تشو من السكندري السبرماتوسايتس السبرماتوسايتس سكندري سبرماتوسايتس راح تطينا بالسكند مايتوتيك ديفيجن المن الى السبرماتيد 
وبعد ذلك راح نشوف السبرماتيز راح تدخل هاي بيا عملية سميناها سبرميوجينيسيس الدفرنشيتد وبالتالي راح تعطينا اللي هو يتمثل لي بالماتشور سبرماتوزوا وهذه اللي تمثل لنا اللي, اللي شفنا قلنا عليها البقايا او الاجسام ام البقايا هاي اللي تبقى دون الـ الـ يعني خزنها في منطقة الابي ديدمس هنا لو نريد نشوف مقارنة ما بين من ما بين ال ال أوسايت والسبيرماتوسايت نشوف ال primary ال أوسايت راح تدخل لنا إيش تطينا تطينا اللي تكون كل شهر هذه طبعا راح تطينا اللي هي تمثل لي ال secondary أوسايت وال first polar bodies then إذا هنا أنا واحدة بينما هنا أنا ال primary إيش راح تطينا two secondary سبيرماتوسايت وكل وحده من عتن راح تعطينا اللي هي التو سبيرماتيد قلنا هنا أنا راح تكون السكندري تمثل لي بالهيبلويد ايد 23 كروموسومز وتكون الدبل ستراكشرز بينما بالسبيرماتيد راح تكون هي 23 اولسو الهيبلويد لكن تكون سنجل سنجل ستراكشرز او كروماتيد يد كل وحده من عتها راح تكون الهالف من ال دي ان اي وبالتالي راح تتميز ان كل وحده من هذولا راح تعطينا اللي هي السبرم اوكي بينما هنا تعطينا اياها اثنين وبالنتيجه راح نحصل على السكندري او او سايت وفي حاله يكون بها فيرتيلايزيشنز راح تمثل لي اللي هي الزيجوت Also in these pictures also you can see the spermatogonia two types the type A اللي هو divided and forming to the spermatogonia type B type B differentiated to the primary spermatocytes the primary spermatocytes is راح تدخل لنا بالميوسيس 1 وبالتالي راح تعطينا two cells of the secondary spermatocytes the primary and the spermatogonia تكون diploid chromosomes when the each containing to the X and the Y while in the meiosis 1 the primary spermatocytes forming to the two cells each cells containing to the X and the Y the secondary spermatocytes enter to the meiosis 2 and forming to the spermatids السبرماتيد الهيبلويد 23 سنجل ستراكشرز وال سكندري سبرماتوسايز الهيبلويد 23 الدبل ستراكشرز السبرماتيد اللي هو راح يكون يدخل لنا بعمليه سبرميوجينيسيس اند فورمينج تو ذا الماتشور اوف ذا السبرم سبرماتوزوا Now, the histology of the test is seminiferous tubules. The seminiferous tubules containing to the germinal epithelium within the supporting cells, resting into the basement membrane, and the spermatogonia located at the basement of the epithelium. With a large rounded nucleus. Then, see this basement membrane. And usually, it will be adjacent to the basement membrane. We will not see it from the side. Which one will be type one or type A and type two? But the locations in the adjacent to the basement membrane will be adjacent to the basement membrane. Then, it will be adjacent to the basement membrane. Then, it will be adjacent to the basement membrane. Then, it will be adjacent to the basement membrane. While the primary spermatocytes, it will be larger. With the nucleus located in the middle regions of the germinal epithelium, and the nuclei are rounded with distant bundles of the dense chromosomes in the prophase of the meiosis one. You can see 
النيوكليوس تكون هي لارجر والنيوكليوس تكون تبين لنا مثل اللي بيها دوت مثل المنقطة هذه اللي تمثل لنا اللي هي البرايمري سبيرماتوسايتس تكون بالميدل ريجنز اوف ذا جيرمينال ابثيريوم Now the primary spermatocytes, mitotic division of the secondary spermatocytes. The secondary spermatocytes is smaller, and a decrease in number and the difficult find in sections of the testes because there are short life cells. Then, إحنا بالسلايدات ما راح نقدر إنه نميز إنه secondary spermatocytes. ليش؟ لأن نقول عادة هي تكون short life cells. Now, secondary spermatocytes, mitotic division to the spermatid. Well, spermatid, عادةً راح نشوفه راح نشوف على نوع من السبرماتيد اللي هي تكون rounded and dense. Okay, this is called the immature spermatid, rounded and dense nucleus. While A dark and elongated nucleus located in the lumen adjacent to the lumen of the seminophosphate tubules. This is the mature spermatid. Then the spermatid is a tube. It can be rounded with dense nucleus and it is elongated and dark. The elongated we will call it the spermatid. و rounded نسميها لي ال immature spermatid. Within the seminiferous tubules, the supporting cells, or is called the Sertoli cells. Sertoli cells extended from the basement membrane to the The lumen of the semen of the tubules is elongated with a nucleus and pelastaining. These cells are primarily supported and nourish the germ cells in the testes with a long apical cytoplasm folded. You can see this is the primary. Which means it is larger and the nucleus is containing to the chromatid, like the dot. Then show for. It is present where in the middle regions. Here is the spermatid. The spermatid is a kind of nucleus, which is the type of the immature spermatid. Between that, if it was elongated and dark, we would call it the mature. This is immature. وعادة السبرماتيد تكون smaller than the primary and the secondary. Now within the loose connective tissue among the seminiferous tubules we can see lytic cells or نسميها testicular cells. These cells secrete testosterone There may uh, be uh, small capillaries found among the clusters of the elytic cells within the seminiferous tubules or between the seminiferous tubules within the loose connective tissue. Now, the abnormality gametes. The first, the abnormalities of the female gametes include the follicles containing more than one primary oocyte that usually degenerate before maturity, or the multi-nucleated primary oocyte that usually die before maturity. Now, second, abnormalities of the male uh, 
uh, gametes that are weakly fertilized, including. The sperm have either giant or dwarf head and or tail. You can see in this giant dwarf head or tail. The second two sperm joining one tail. Or sperm have a two tail. The hormonal control of the spermatogenesis. The gonadotropin releasing hormones from the hypothalamus, stimulating the anterior pituitary gland and to secrete two hormones the first the follicular stimulating hormone or the fsh it act on the sertoli cells which in knowledge developing the sperm and sertoli cells as, uh, also secrete the inhibin which reduce the FSH secretions by a negative feedback. The second hormones, a luteinized hormone, it act on the uh, lytic cells, the lytic cells or the interstitial cells. which produce the androgen chiefly a testosterone a testosterone regulates a productions of the brain hormones by a negative feedback thank you